Yes, sir, with the hat. I think it's going to be very important that each of you state for the record what would be your position uh, with regard to uh, St. George with another breakaway uh, this summer. Also, uh, it would be important, I think, for each of you to state your position right now on a no new taxes split. So I don't think anyone in this room needs to know my position on St. George, but for the record, uh, I, I was absolutely adamantly opposed to the creation of another city in this parish. I think that it would have been destructive. Um, hell, it would have been catastrophic to our community. I think it would have uh, ended up costing people on both sides more. The people who live out in the unincorporated area, like my mom and my sister, and the people who live out in the city, like myself, would have suffered both sides uh, from this split. We would have been spending twice as much money on the same thing and just made no sense to me to add another level of government. I'm a Republican. I believe in less government, not more. Um, as far as the tax policy, um, you know, I'm going to do everything I can to, to resist raising taxes. I don't, I don't think that we need to do that, but I can't possibly tell you that, um, that there's never going to be an instance where taxes need to re be raised. That, that is very possible. I can't make a pledge um, in, in, the, in the speculative frame, but I will tell you that I'll do everything I can to keep our taxes low and to keep businesses coming to Baton Rouge. Thank you. On the St. George issue, that was a group of parents who fought very hard to try to prove, improve education in their area. They went to the legislature two years in a row. And they were told, if you, want, if you don't want to stay status quo, you should go make a city. Some people called them names, other things, and that's where that came from. As mayor president, that's the reason I'm, there was no legislation for it, but it all for that. No one offered another answer. So that's where they went down that road. As Mayor President, I want the whole parish to come up together. And I want our whole education system to come up together. Not only South Baton Rouge, but North Baton Rouge. We have to fix the whole parish at that end. When the tax question, I've never voted for a bunch of taxes unless you can see what they're specifically for, or you know what they're gonna be, or you make it public and put it on the internet, what you're gonna use it for, and where you are. And no, I signed up. The only pledges I've ever signed is for the people that represented me. I think that means that Bodie wouldn't support a breakaway effort. Um, I certainly would not support that effort. As a realtor, I think it's important when people come to town, they want to know that we have a unified community. A community. I think that's really important for people to see. Um, and I think the frustration of St. George and some of the frustration in North Baton Rouge shows that we have people who are really unhappy with city government. They feel like that in many cases their voices aren't being heard, and, and that's what we need to change. We can only be a great city if everyone has an equal voice. And, and that's what we have to do, that's where we have to go to. In terms of taxes, I, I think certainly there may be a point where we come to where we say, okay, the only way we can pay for something is by a tax increase. But I think in doing that, we owe it to the public to fully explain the facts. And the one thing I'm totally opposed to is hiding tax elections. They shouldn't be at weird times. They should be when we have a major election so everyone gets a chance to actually vote and voice their opinion. Thank you. I certainly opposed the St. George measure when I was on the Metro Council. I probably wasn't as loud as John Delgado, but I did oppose the uh, effort to break away from the city. Uh, in terms of any taxes or any new taxes that may be proposed, I would have to look at those. I think a part of the problem with taxes that I've seen in East Baton Rouge Parish is that we put on a tax and a millage on, and we don't have a sunset. And I think that we need to start looking at having sunsets on certain taxes so that when you have completed a project, that tax goes away. That would benefit the tax uh, payer and you don't keep getting the same taxes pulled away from you and we could move then to a model of need rather than just want. And I think that's what I've seen as a Metro Council member, that's what we do. Uh, we tend to want to extend every tax, every tax we want to extend it and I think we need to look at that. And so certainly I will be looking at what I can do to move the city in that effort. I certainly oppose the St. George breakaway. In fact, 
during my last two years as a state senator, I spent a lot of it at the podium with uh, Senator White debating uh, and voicing my opposition to the breakaway. But what's more importantly that we consider is that we have to understand that communities rise and fall together. That we can't have one part of our community at an A and another part of our community at a D grade and think we have a great city. What we have to recognize is what happens in Scotlandville and what happens in South Downs impacts all of us as a city. And that's why I'm very concerned about uniting our city and focusing on our common goals, not what divides us. And I don't think it would be advantageous for me to take a no tax pledge at this time. But I do believe in transparency.